Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and today I have a Dollar Tree haul for you. But a couple things I picked up at a store called Big Lots. I'm not sure if they're only in Ohio or in the Midwest. I don't know, but I went. So my niece Sarah called me and said they were having a huge clearance sale. So I ran in. I didn't find a bunch of clearance stuff that she found at her store, which is perfectly fine. But I did find some stuff to share. Mostly just my food stuff, but I was super excited. So I grabbed a couple packages of this moon cheese. It's normally $3.99. It was on sale for $1.50. And this is perfect for me. I love this stuff. It's zero carbohydrates, but it's salty and crunchy. And I can just have it all the time. So I grabbed three of those. And then I love these Parm Crisps. And they are normally $3.99 to $4.99. And they are $3, just regular price. So I grabbed one bag of sesame. And these are also zero carbs. It's just cheese. And they flavor it with some sesame seeds. And then I got two of the sour cream and onion that I really like. And these were $3 also. Know, just a little snacky snack um, I do enjoy these especially for backpacking or taking out when I go out for lunch or something and these are good until December this is good till February of 2022 the sour cream is good until December and this one is good until December as well and then these I'm not sure why they're getting rid of the moon cheese on clearance because I was very cautious to check those dates and this is February of 2022. All of these will be gone, you know, over the summer. But like kayaking, backpacking, going out, running errands, these are perfect for me to bring along for a quick snack or to go along with like lunch or something. Um, I also got a big bag of mixed nuts. I love mixed nuts. Now, I'm sure it's half, yeah, it's 50% peanuts. That's fine. I mean, it's not like the uh, fancy nuts where you get just a couple peanuts or, or other nuts, but I don't care. It's fine. This has peanuts, Brazil nuts, almonds, cashews, and the filberts, which I think is a hazelnut if I'm not mistaken. So yeah, and these were only $5, which I thought was a pretty good price for a 16 ounce pack of mixed nuts. I just leave them in the fridge and grab a handful here and there. I found this, which is Sweet Baby Ray's Creamy Buffalo Dip. I just think this will be fun on wings. It's only one carbohydrate. There's some questionable ingredients like soybean oil that I try to avoid, but this will definitely not be something I'm, you know, I'll eat a tablespoon or two or not, you know, on my wings or dip chicken or dip pork rinds, just a treat. And I like the Sweet Baby Ray brand, so I brought that and this was $2. And then I grabbed three of these, which I love these. These are cherry pomegranate drink mixes from Welch's. And you get six sticks, and they were a dollar, and this was the last that they had. So I grabbed three. The last time I was in there, they had an entire shelf of these box drink mixes. And um, they were, that's it. They had that. And then they had like a fruit punch and a lemonade. And I have plenty of lemonade, so I didn't get the other ones. So yeah, I um, picked up those things. Big lots to me, like I actually, oh, look at, I'm gonna show you. You see this big red thing? This is where the tick bit me when I was backpacking. It's now like a itchy, it almost feels like a mosquito bite. I'm watching for a rash and I don't think I have Lyme disease, but we'll watch it. Um, but it was, it just itches. Sorry, I digress. Um, Oh yeah, so I went in there looking for some coconut chips. They had them before that were unsweetened, but they, were, they didn't have any more. And that's kind of the th thing with a big loss. They do buyouts. It's almost like a Gabe's or something like that. They buy out um, stock from other stores, I believe. So that's okay. I have found some new treats. And that's how the cookie crumbles. Plus Sarah got me a shirt at her, her, her store. All right, let's get into this Dollar Tree haul. It's not very big, but my store just seems to be hit and miss these days. Um, I grabbed some lemon juice. I enjoy it. I know it's it's from Concentrate. It's lemon juice from Concentrate water. There's a preservative in it. And then there's some lemon oil. 
I mean, it's fine for what I'm going to use it for. I don't, I don't mind that it's not fresh lemons. I don't drink enough or have enough lemon juice around that um, keeping fresh lemons would be cost effective. I found something fun. These are two-in-one non-scratch microfiber cleaning pads. I'm always on the hunt for like sponges and stuff like that. You get two in here and this is the Scrub It brand. And it looks like it cleans quicker and easier. Tough scrub side for removing stuck on grime. Microfiber side for wiping, absorbing, and general cleaning. I figured on the microfiber side, I could use it on my stainless steel refrigerator and my um, dishwasher. So I grabbed, they only had one. So I grabbed one of those. I found three of these and this is it that I can find at my stores. I love these scrubbers, guys. I'm kind of obsessed with them. They, you know, they don't last forever. So I did buy the four pack of the other scrubbies that they have by Scrub Buddies. And they're fine. I mean, they're abrasive enough, but they don't hold soap. It's such an open weave that the soap just goes right through them. And so I just like these. So I grab three. I pick up one here, one there when I find them. Um, so I grab that. And then I picked up, I love this. This is Tajine, T-A-J-I-N. It's a spice. It's a, from Mexico. And it's like hot and citrusy and I love it. And this is just the right size for me to keep on hand. This was um, Dollar Tree and I don't know if there's a date on it. It's good until June of 2022. And I would love to read you the ingredient label, but um, no, I can't. It's too small. But it's like hot hot and citrusy oh and it's called tagine oh. now i've seen a lot of like nuts and spite things with this seasoning on it pre-packaged so but i like it on um, like chicken it's really good if you grill up some meat you could use it in a marinade other stores have bigger bottles but this is like i said that's a perfect size just for me to have on hand i have a lot of spices that i need to work through you see um i picked up one more of these fun size um vegan strips these are cheddar bacon um made in the usa there's no like nasties in here i will have luna this weekend on friday saturday and i think she's going home sunday if i'm not mistaken who knows but i have two packages of these now because she gets offended if i give the cats a treat and i don't have something for her although trust me sarah brings up doggy diaper bag for her and we have plenty of treats but she likes my cabinet she knows that I keep treats in my cabinet so she'll go sit there and wait for me to pull something out of my cat treat bag so I always have to make sure I got dog treats so I have two little packages of these which are perfect for her and then I have some bones in there as well I found I saw some folks hauling this look at the size of these wipes guys this is tea tree oil which I happen to love I'm not going to open them because um, I have the other one open right now. But it's tea tree oil facial wipes. Helps control oil and acne, soothes and calms blemish prone skin. I don't have blemish prone skin, but that's okay. I like tea tree oil. And it's uh, from Global Beauty. And you get 60 wipes in here. Like, that's crazy. It's a big pack of wipes. Perfect time for summer. Um, I love to just wipe my face off. I've been using the... The little pink circle with the, the feels like the fleece, white uh, magic eraser, face eraser, not a magic eraser on my face, guys. Don't do that. The face eraser, I use that at night and in the morning to wipe my face. But sometimes, you know, if you're out and sweating or getting, you know, you need a little something, something, these are great for that. Take them to the gym, pack them in a suitcase, although that's a lot. I would probably repackage them into a smaller but yeah you get 60 wipes so I grab those they're just great to have around my house I found some pencils look at these these are Dixon brand now Sarah my teacher niece tells me that this is not the best brand of pencils but I'm not going to school so I don't care um but can we please look at the zebra the cheat the cheetah the leopard I wish they would tell me what all the animals are oh they do Tigers, lions and tigers and bears and giraffes. 
Guys, I don't know, but they're fun. I need to take these two over to my friend Teresa. She'll like them. But it's an eight pack and I was running out of like lead pencils. I use them sometimes when I'm crafting. I just thought they were fun. Let's be, let's be real here. Let's keep it real, friends. I found this. It is from Brighter Days. Morgan Home Fashions, not Greenbrier. So I don't know that everybody will have it. But it is a trifold pill and storage box. I'm going to take this out of the package because we're going to have time for this. For me, I thought when I finally get to take my trip, this will be perfect to carry um, not just medications, but these are individual little containers. You could put earrings in here and you could put a necklace in one so they don't get tangled. Um, you could put like Tylenol in one section. I know with prescriptions, you're supposed to bring up the bottles, but I'm gonna tell you now I don't. But they have them. This is longer, maybe hold some battery. I mean, there's just, you know, a lots of little things. And then there's a compartment over here that's pretty big, like for band-aids and whatnot. And I feel like this was just perfect. And I love the, the clip on it. I should have probably grabbed more than one, but I don't need more than one. But I think this is going to be perfect for travel. Again, like I said, probably without... Oh, and there's even a little hole here that you could like hook a carabiner to. Most likely, I will put jewelry, like some earrings in some of these. And probably like anti-diarrhea medication. Probably some Benadryl, Sudafed, Tylenol, things like that. That I'll just keep in my backpack for easy reach. Um, not like daily medications, but you know, here I could keep some Dramamine, things that I use on the regular when I travel, which is definitely when I fly, I take a Dramamine and I take two Sudafed. I don't get air sick, but I have got, been known to get motion sick and I definitely get like stuffy head. So this is going to be perfect in my backpack just to hold all the little things to keep them from you know, getting lost in the bag and not having a hundred little containers. So this is pretty cool. I should probably grab one for Sarah as well. She'll be going with me. And then we can keep her stuff in hers as well. And I could take a Cricut and put something on there. So I love that find. I found that today at my $1 tree. Okay. I don't have much left, but we're going to go into it. First and foremost, friends, please tell me this is not the most fabulous unicorn di unicorn decor you've ever seen it's a little fourth of july look at the tail and it's a unicorn i'm sorry i don't do a whole 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 lot of decorating for the fourth of july but this will be going out this will be going out somewhere because it's fun and i love its tail and i think it's adorable and they stand up pretty good too I know people buy these and you can take off this like um, garlandy stuff and decorate it however you want, but I'm going big here with this unicorn. But you could totally do that. Use yarn and recover it with different colors and make it look, you know, more realistic, less, let's be honest, tacky. But I like tacky, so I'm just going to call it kitschy. I love it. So I grabbed that. We'll have to come up with a name for our unicorn friend there. Then I found this scarf, but it's going to be over one of my pillows is what's going to happen, I can tell you. So um, I ordered my furniture. I think I mentioned that several months ago. It will be in at the end of this month, delivered. And I'm kind of thinking about my decor in here for summertime. And I will have to cut this. It is an infinity scarf. I will cut it at the seam here and stitch it back up. But I think this would be perfect on a pillow, just tied around. I love the colors for summertime. It would make a nice scarf too, but if we're being truthful, I'm not wearing a scarf in the summer. It's hot. So I really would like to use this more of a like, just tie it around a pillow, to be honest with you, and have the front showing. I love it. I'll iron it. The grays will go with my furniture, and these are nice summer colors. So I grabbed that because I just think it's pretty. So I needed it in my life, right? And then I grabbed a bunch of yarn. I also had navy blue, but I already used it. 
but these three colors are gonna go with a uh, macrame DIY that I'm gonna do. Do you remember the circle brass welcome sign that I picked up? I'm gonna do a macrame on the bottom and I'm gonna use all three of these grays as one piece of yarn, like make them nice and thick. So I'll show you, I'm gonna do a DIY. Thinking after work tomorrow, I may whip it together because it won't be really anything too challenging, but this is a gray tweed, so it has multiple shades of gray and it. it's almost like a heathered appeal. This is a darker gray, and then this is the lighter gray. So all three of them together for one piece. And I'm gonna tell you, I don't hate this yarn. Like, I like it better than Red Heart. I I'm even debating getting a bunch and making a baby sweater because, um, how much is in here? 120 yards, it's a 55 gram ball. So I would need three balls of one color to make a baby sweater. And my cousin's niece is having a baby. And this is super soft and it was, so the reason I use acrylic based yarn to make baby clothing is because it can go in the washing machine and it doesn't get ruined. The wool, you, you know, I'm not going to give mama, mama's stuff I've handmade that is going to require a lot of work on their part. That's just not fair. So I'm thinking about it. We'll see. I've got a ton of yarn upstairs. So I really just should use something like that, but we'll see. So I grabbed those and I have two of each. So I have 110 yards or grams, so 240 yards of each color. So each of these little skeins comes with 120 yards. So that'll be perfect. Um, I did grab some lemon pepper. Like I said, I don't need a lot of spices, but I do put this in when I make my zesty Italian, which I need to make that blend again. And I do like to put in some, you know, lemon pepper in it. Um, this is Badia brand and it's Kingsford, but it's lemon pepper, all purpose seasoning. I'm not sure why they colored it yellow, but probably just to indicate that it's citrusy. But so I have that and this, those will be great for summer grilling as well as the lemon juice, you know, for like some lemon chicken and then throw it on the grill. I did find two more drink mixes. My Dollar Trees are getting a little slim on these as well. So I grabbed grape. I don't love blue raspberry, but I think it's good with in my adult popsicles. So we'll try it in that. So I grabbed two more of that. Nothing exciting there. And then I picked up some, oh, I grabbed one of these little toothbrushes and toothpaste. These are great for camping and backpacking. And when I go out in the summertime, like overnight, because these fold up small and they'll fit in my bag better and then a little toothpaste just because. Like this is literally, I have my backpacking stuff still sitting over there. So I just tossed it in the box because that's what it's for, for my next trip. Um, my store did restock these. I will tell you, these are fantastic for, I use them for paper, um, but I will tell you they don't, I broke one super easy. So, um, but I think I broke it cutting the adhesive backed cork. So that wasn't a good plan on my part, so I broke it, threw it away. So I picked up another one because I love these for cutting paper, specifically. Because my craft scissors and fabric scissors, you don't wanna cut paper because it will dull them. Although I know you can resharpen them, but I have paper crafting tools and I have fabric crafting tools, and this is a paper crafting tool. So I have that. I just picked up a replacement. That's the first time I've seen those in months at my store. And we still have not gotten all that good metal stuff. We haven't gotten any of the Cricut stuff in. I'm kind of bummed out. And then somebody on my in the comments mentioned that their store got that more expensive stuff. And I don't want any part of 3 and $5 stuff at my Dollar Tree. But nobody is asking me. Um, I found a artist palette. I think these are great for painting, mixing colors, you know, and having it nice. This is a little more sturdy than those little small six ones that they come with that are three and three. This is definitely more sturdy. And um, yeah, they're, they easily wash up. I use them for acrylic paint, chalk paint. And I like the little, the little um, reservoirs to put my paint in. I can mix colors. And then, like I said, this, I would probably even stick it in the dishwasher. Um, I'm not sure if I'm supposed to, I guess I'll find out, but yeah, these are great. Kids love them. I love them. It keeps my crafting space 
Sometimes I just push paint out onto paper, but it absorbs more than I use, so this is better. So I grabbed one just to have with my paint supplies. Um, my store got these in with a three pack. So I picked up one. So I had a two pack and a three pack and that should be plenty for fall. Um, they also had a bunch of two packs out. So I'm, I'm confused, but they must've just had some three packs in stock that they needed to get rid of. And now they're, then they're switching over to the just two of these, but they're fine. I like it. I don't know if this is natural. I'm going to say it's not, but, um, just, it does say cotton pod. So I don't know if this is real. I mean, it, it looks real to me, but I, what do I know? Nothing. I know nothing. But I like to use those, especially in fall decorating. So I got that. Speaking of fall, um, my store came out with, I bought four of them. These are the bandanas, but to be quite frank, it's just fabric. I mean, it's, it's the Buffalo check fabric. I love this size. Now it is pretty thin, but I could back this with like a white or a black fabric and totally transform these into fabulous, like um, I'm thinking placemats for in here. I love the black and white and for fall and Thanksgiving decorating. And this is also what my kitchen is in year round right now. So, um, and I had a hard time finding some of this fabric last year when I was looking to sew. So I thought, you know what, just buy four of them. And that'll make at least four placemats for in here. I can make a small table runner for this. And then, or, you know, like set one in the center and one on each of my end tables for fall decorating. But I will probably back them with like black fabric just to give them a little, and maybe even some like fusible to give them a little more stability because it is kind of a thinner fabric. But I grabbed four just to have, and I'll put this with my sewing stuff um, for the fall when it's time to do that. I saw somebody else haul this and decided I needed it. And it is Color the Seasons. And it is all the seasons, and you get a picture or two for each season, like spring, I won't give you every page and bore you, but there's some summer, summertime, Thanksgiving, and then there's some pages back here for winter and Christmas. And I like that they're one-sided because then if I want to, and I like coloring, especially on a snowy day, watch a movie and do some coloring, but I can like color the picture and you can, it's serrated so I can take it out and have it, or if I want to use markers to color with, I don't have to worry that it's going to bleed through. Oh, I look at that for fall. Like how satisfying would that be to color in? And like I said, if I want to do this one in marker, I would, because I would love the rich jewel tones, I would pull it out and use like a um, clipboard and put maybe a piece of paper behind it, but I wouldn't care if, the, if it bled through. So I thought that was super fun. So I grabbed one of those just to have around. And then I just have a couple other things. I started shopping for stockings and Sarah loves Sudoku. So I grabbed her this book and I may see if she wants it, if we make it on our vacation before Christmas, but I doubt we will be going anywhere, but for the airplane or whatever. So, and I love that the cover is so pretty. So I grabbed that stocking stuffer for Sarah that'll just go in a a bag that I have set up. And then I found two of the 11 by 14 canvas. These are nice and large um, canvas to do different paintings on. I think they're really fun. If you got little ones, especially with the holidays coming up, guys, put them down. If you got your grandkids, nieces and nephews, your kids, have them paint a picture for somebody. Just using like, you can use watercolors, they can use, uh, they even have tempera paint and poster paint at the Dollar Tree. You can have them just paint some pictures, let them dry and gift them. Like what a fantastic gift idea that would be. But I like the larger ones. So I grabbed two. I'm debating on making something for my wall. And then the last thing I found, which I was so excited for, look at that picture frame. It's a house. So these are 
a four by six, but clear it's glass all the way up. I don't need to put an actual picture in here. I can do whatever I want. And on the wall behind me, this little bizarre wall, I'm gonna take the Dollar Tree floating shelves that they had that hang on the rope, and I'm gonna use three of them on the wall behind me at different heights, and I bought three of these frames. And I'm gonna maybe get like some botanical print to put in the center or something kind of boho, I feel like. And I'm gonna put it on the shelf with some greenery when I get my new furniture. I'm super excited about that. Let's do our thumbnail. Oh, I gotta fix my shirt. My shirt's a little big today. I also have, excuse me, a lot of glare. And I got my hair cut. I did, and it was supposed to be like crazy, you know, like sticky out everywhere. I can't, I cannot make my hair be crazy. Every time I do it, I get the same look. But it was driving me nuts. But this, this will grow in longer. And then I was talking to my hairdresser about growing it out. And she said, girl, we don't grow our hair out in the summer. We wait till winter. I'm like, okay. I agree. So that is everything that I got the Dollar Tree this week. Like I said, my store has been a little slow. I'm hoping that they pick up, get some better stuff, get some, I mean, they've got a ton of summer and 4th of July, but it's almost all gone at most of my stores and they're not seeming to be restocking that stuff. So we shall see. All right, everybody have a good one and I will talk with you later. Bye.